page 12. Today we are going to learn about one-sided limits. One-sided limits can be either left-hand limit, alright, the limit of fx when x approaching a from the left-hand side. Alright, equals to a. So we read it as left-hand limit of fx as x approach a or the limit of fx as x approach a from the left. Okay, the symbol here, x approaching a negative, indicates that we consider only values of x that are less than a. Okay, the other one is right-hand limit, where we have limit of fx when x approaching a from the right-hand side, a positive. So, we read it as right-hand limit of fx as x approach a or the limit of fx as x approach a from the right. So we write the symbol as x approaching a positive. Indicates that we consider only values of x that are greater than a. Alright, next, what is two-sided limit? Two-sided limit means that the limit of fx when x approaching a from the left-hand side is equal to the limit of fx when x approaching a from the right-hand side. Okay, we will look at the question. Alright, so this is the graph of fx. We are going to find the one-sided limits at point x equals to 3. Alright. Okay, so we are going to look at from left. Okay, that means from left approaching 3. Right, so the limit of fx when x approaching 3 from the right uh, left hand side is actually approaching 6. Right now we we'll look at from right, okay, from right approaching 3. So the limit of fx when x approaching 3 from the right hand side is also approaching 6. Alright, so this is what we call as one sided limit. Alright, okay, the next one. Okay, so this is a piecewise function. How do we read the piecewise function? So this function, x squared plus 5, is used for the values of x which is less than negative 2. Right? And this function, 3 minus 3x, for all values of x greater and equals to negative 2. So the function here is according to the domain of x. Okay. If I want to find the limit of fx when x approaching negative 2 from the left hand side, that means we are going to see the what happened to the limit of fx when x is less than negative 2. So the function that we are going to use is x squared plus 5 because x is approaching negative 2 from the left hand side okay so now i am going to substitute the value negative 2 squared plus 5 so we have the limit here 9 okay for the next one to find the limit of fx when x approaching negative 2 from the right hand side so we are going to use the function for which is for x greater and equals to negative 2. So we are going to use 3 minus 3x where x approaching negative 2 positive which is from the right hand side. So I am going to substitute the value of negative 2 into the function 3 minus 3 times negative 2. So therefore we have here 9 as well. So this is the one sided limit. Okay. The next one, by looking at the graph, we are going to see the limit at point x equals to 1. 
Okay, we are looking for the left hand side here. So the limit of gx here when x approaching 1 from the left hand side is actually approaching 1. So this is from the left hand side. Now we look at the from the right hand side, the limit of gx, right? approaching when x approaching one from the right hand side is also approaching is uh, sorry is approaching three okay look at here the function here right so when x approaching one from the right hand side all right the limit of gx is approaching three okay so now we continue so the uh one sided limit here is not the same. Alright, the limit of gx from the left hand side is not equal to the limit of gx from the right hand side. Alright. Okay, now look at number four. Alright, so we are going to find the limit of fx, right, when x approaching 2 from the left hand side so the function that we are going to use is x minus 1 since we have x less than 1 here I am going to substitute the value of 2 so we have 2 minus 1 equals to 1 the next one we are going to see the limit of x when x approaching 2 from the right hand side so the function that I am going to choose is x squared since x is approaching 2 from the right hand side all right so put x squared here x approaching 2 from the right hand side so we have 2 squared here which is equal to 4 so again we can look at here that the limit of fx approaching 2 from the left hand side is not equal to the limit of fx when x approaching 2 from the right hand side thank you